Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 7th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we do and are reporting an X-class solar flare. X2.1 solar flare erupting from the southeastern side of our sun. That was outgoing. You're going to see the flash right there. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, 3848 has not produced any solar flares yet. Large plasma filaments spinning around the surface, cresting into view another fiery sunspot region. Looking at outgoing here, this is where we saw the X class solar flare from sunspot region 3842 that produced all the other X class solar flares. Having a look at multi spectrum here, two pretty noticeable coronal holes and as well another one building in the southern hemisphere opposite of that large one in the north. Big sunspots in between. Lots of plasma filaments swirling across the surface right now. Keeping an eye on those, especially in the southern hemisphere. And this is our sun for the last 48 hours. Long duration X-class solar flare. Not completely in an earth-facing direction, but instantly radiated by this X-class solar flare. We have eight sunspot regions right now particularly watching 3842 and 3848. Big sunspot regions right now. Look at these sunspot regions in motion. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I tried to do a live update earlier. It did not work. Space weather conditions right now. We are under strong R3 radio blackout impacts expected and as well level 2 geomagnetic storms are impacting us right now. Solar winds are coming in at 402 kilometers per second right now, upwards over 530 kilometers per second last night with the first geomagnetic wave. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, long duration X 2.0, solar flare, solar proton flux elevated. Geomagnetic activity was definitely elevated throughout the day today, hopping up to a KP6. And that was from all of these incoming coronal mass ejections from the most recent solar flares. These are the most recent CME models. Updated are those uh, couple small solar storms that are headed away in the long range. ISWA Space Predictions Barrel showing the most recent solar flare coronal mass ejection outgoing there. So that solar flare did produce quite a sizable CME in an outgoing direction. And this is having a look at our highest frequency affected regions. This is where we were affected the most long duration all across the Pacific. Interesting because we saw a pretty sizable 5.8 earthquake Easter Island. Here is a look at tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow. Tonight KP5, tomorrow KP3. Having a look at the next hour or so, Southern Hemisphere and Northern Hemisphere, definitely visible in some regions. Maybe not the populated ones in the South. Now let's get to Lasco 3 here, showing the last 48 hours of imagery. Mercury on the left-hand side, but watch what comes in on the right-hand side here. I'm not sure what this is, folks, but it might be that asteroid that has gone into Earth's orbit. We seem to have a second moon that everybody is talking about on the internet. Is this it? But definitely, I have no idea what this is coming in after the large corona mass ejection from the southeast region, right where the X-class solar flare occurred. You can see that coming into view. Wow, that is bright. Folks, I have no idea what that is. If anybody else in the chat or anybody else in the YouTube community is saying what that is, please let me know in the comments section that most likely is the asteroid that has been locked into Earth's orbit. Coming into view now on LASCO 3, here with Dilly Vents Worldwide. 
amazing days and times to be a witness. I'm so grateful to have you all along for this journey. Thank you so much for pressing play, subscribing to the channel. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. 5.8 earthquake, Kermadec Islands. That is the largest last 24 hours. Don't mind the dates here as they're all saying 1970, January 1st. But we are pointing out the last 24 hours of earthquakes without the dates. 5.7 earthquake here, southeast of Easter Island. That's right. This is where we're zapped right across the Pacific. 4.9, 4.6 there in Chile. 5.0 magnitude earthquake reported Venezuela. Pretty sizable for the region as well as 4.4 Nicaragua. 4.1 earthquake here, Dillon, Montana. That is just very close northwest to the Yellowstone volcano. Minor seismicity across California. No swarms to talk about. 4.4 earthquake here, Adak, Alaska. And through the Marianas Trench. Seeing some activity this week as well. Deep earthquakes through the region. Greece with a 4.8. Palacastro and as well Thave or Thavai. Greece 4.7. Too close to Vesuvius for me. All of the recent activity that has been swarming through the region. Lots of minor activity. Heads up, my friends and family. We've got some crazy events happening. And my app is not working right now. So we cannot have the little rumbles of the last seven days. I guess we'll just throw them manually onto the globe. Take the magnitudes off. And have a quick look at our world as it looks like a pincushion right now. A lot of deep earthquakes the last seven days going through space weather events. Go figure. This is all in correlation to solar cycle 25, my friends. This is all connected to the sun. As we are all connected to the sun and this planet. And we're all connected here with daily events worldwide. Stay prepped, my friends. Let's have a look at air quality forecast. This is a look at our SO2 forecast for the next three days. Big eruption through Alaska and healthy eruptions coming off of Kamchatka, parts of eastern Russia. Multiple volcanoes through the region are erupting. Nasty air quality sweeping across North America right now. Big high pressure ridge and as well wildfires. As I noted yesterday in the update, wildfires through a lot of the central states. Overlooking Europe, Southeast Asia. In Australia, notable big eruption, northern Indonesia, towards the Ibu volcano, and as well, New Caledonia, and across the central Pacific, south central Pacific, big plume coming from who knows where, bunch of volcanoes through the Malaysia region. Now let's have a look at world weather. This is the monster. Hurricane Milton, now a Category 5 hurricane heading towards the Yucatan Peninsula. And it will be just raking up the coastline here over the next 24 hours. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected right now and who will be in the long range as this storm is set. And aiming up for Tampa Bay, Florida. Having a look at satellite imagery here with Zoom Earth. Showing a strong eye and a large eye with Hurricane Milton. Category 5 packing winds of over 285 kilometers per hour. I forecasted last night that this would turn into a Cat 5 and they did not think that it would happen. But it did. Look at that. It's aiming right for Tampa Bay again. Much love everybody and thoughts and prayers they've barely gotten over the last hurricanes. Having a look at wind models here, they're going to see very strong winds. Winds upwards of 200 kilometers per hour, 230 in some regions, as it most likely will be a Cat 4 by the time it makes landfall. But interesting, look east of Florida as well. Looks like another tropical system forms there right off the panhandle, which is very, very strange. The eye of this hurricane is heading right for Tampa Bay, folks. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody, and please share this video with your friends and family. If they live in the region, 
this is going to be one of the biggest and most devastating events they've ever experienced. Having a look at the weather forecast, low pressure system across eastern Canada could bring snow in the long range as low pressure systems are starting to come in from the north and as well high pressure ridges, which is going to help fuel down all these cold temperatures getting ready for winter 2024. No other major hurricanes developing in the long range forecast here overlooking Europe and Africa. Multiple low pressure systems affecting you this week as forecasted here over the last few days with daily events worldwide. Remnants of Tropical Storm Kirk, Leslie. Wow. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these extreme weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, unbelievable hurricanes. You know, I've talked about this a couple times before. Meteorologists, scientists are thinking about upgrading the hurricane scale. I think this might be the season where they say, hey, we need a Category 6 or maybe a Category 7. Who knows? Maybe they'll go to a, a scale of 10 now instead of 5. But I do believe that it will be coming, if not this season, then next season, and definitely by 2025. Big low-pressure system here affecting British Columbia and Alaska in the long range. Multiple low-pressure systems coming through and as well multiple winter storms getting ready to brew across the Northern Hemisphere. Having a look at our Northern Hemisphere right now, this is depicting our polar vortex as it is starting to set up. But then let's look at the Southern Hemisphere. I showed this the other day. Right now, it looks like a strangely happy one-eyed cyclops. But this is our Southern Hemisphere right now. Showing two very strong vortices, one of them very oblonged as we're going through these space weather events together. Solar Cycle 25 putting on a show and so is Daily Events Worldwide. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.